It's four o'clock on a Monday, and you know what that means, don't you? Oh, there you are. It's time for another exciting episode of Taxi TV Live. Woo, baby! This week, starring Mr. Joe Brent one more time. Yeah, man. And we are going to do How Would You Tag This Music for TV? He says, almost out of breath. <laughs> and welcome back to the big show. Thank you so much again. Such a chump. You came twice in a month, I dude. I know, right? <laughs> he fell for it the first sucker. time and he came back the second <laughs> time. Yeah, I'm glad to have you back. Um, last show that we did with you two weeks ago was incredibly good and very awesome, educational. Awesome. Uh, Joe is a world-class expert on music tagging, um, which is what we're going to do the show on today, metadata and music tagging, and I will say hello to you folks in the chat room momentarily. I see you in there. Um, Joe's a music supervisor and a producer with over 10 years experience in the entertainment industry, skilled in music uh, clearance, licensing, and editing, expert at curating and keywording music based on genre, subgenre, tempo, featured instruments, and mood. Um, com he's a composer and a publisher with BMI and a member of the Guild of Music Supervisors. He also holds degrees in audio engineering, web development, and communications. So last time, Joe gave you basically uh, kind of make the shorter, slightly abbreviated version yeah. of the course that he taught at the Road Rally last November. And what we're going to do today is we are going to play some music that taxi members have submitted prior to the show. And then we're going to see, ask you guys in the viewing audience to say how you would tag the music. Then we'll tell you how the musicians who submitted the music tagged it. And then we'll get Joe's opinion on how he would tag it. And obviously this is all an exercise in getting you guys to wrap your heads around metadata and tagging your music. Um, it's just something that's really important to getting your music used, right? Absolutely. It's super important. It's, yeah. yeah. So, uh, all right, let me say hello to the folks in the chat room. We've got Peter Rahill, Jesse J. Peck, Gloria Covington, uh, Cass McKenty, Carl Wurzbach, Fla Vicki Flaweth, Linda Collum, uh, uh, Josephine Brandt. Could that be your daughter? Yeah, I have to give a shout out to my daughter, Josephine, who's watching. Hey, Josephine, nice to meet you. Thanks for watching the show. Um, you're going to be an expert on tagging by the time this is over. Uh, look at all those She's hearts. a singer, too. She'll be a taxi member soon. Wow. Yeah. Well, I know a guy. Maybe I can hook her up with a cheap, <laughs> oh, good deal on a membership, huh? Um, Lamar Franklin, Jay Williams, Mel Lindsay, uh, Harry Harlow, Martin Frog, Lou Lewis, Brad Gray. Anyway, great bunch of people today in the chat room. Glad to see all you folks. Um... So is there anything that I didn't mention that I should have that you can think about before we uh, no, start listening? No, I think we, we pretty much covered everything. It's just, yeah, just metadata is incredibly important. No matter how great your music is, you can have the best music for the right opportunities. But if you don't have the right metadata, uh, nine times out of ten, they're not going to find your music. If you know, Unless you hand it, deliver it to a supervisor, a producer, a director, a trailer house, they're not going to find it in the old traditional way just searching on a website or uh, you know a library website or source audio or pond five itunes whatever the case may be spotify so last time you were on the show after that mm -hmm. show as i mentioned uh, i mentioned this to <coughs> joe before we uh, started today um i got some emails from people and a couple of comments i believe were also yeah don't be afraid to as ask questions in the comment area if you're watching the archive of the show We'll do our best to go in there and give you answers to your questions in the comment area. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, I think I've, I've replied to a few that were there. I so saw that. I'll try, to, I'll try to get more. Um, if there's any more, I'll definitely get to them for sure. Don't forget to subscribe because you know why. Where the heck did it go? Oh, no. I've lost my subscriber non-compliant um, attitude adjustment tool. Anyway, I sit on it. Here's a spare. No, I've got a spare. I always keep a spare handy. Anybody doesn't subscribe, the ruler. It, it really hurts too. So, <laughs> so yeah, subscribe. That wasn't for you, Josephine. Doesn't apply to nine-year-olds. Um, don't forget to click that little bell thing up in the upper right-hand corner because that gives you alerts when we're going live. And of course. 
we're insecure, so make sure you like us. There you go. Okay, I've done all my jobs. Um, so, the format for today's show is going to be, oh, I said that already, that we'll play the music, um, and then we will listen to your opinions as to how you would tag it, and then we will um, have a look at how you tagged it, how the audience tags it, how the person who submitted it tagged it, and then we'll go to Joe, and he will be the arbiter of your rightness or wrongness. And there is no absolute right no, and wrong, no. right? I mean, there's definitely some points that, no matter who you ask, they should kind of hear it. Right. But there's always going to be some things that, you know, somebody might not have thought of or uh, for sure. So it's not always, like we, we talked about oh, before, that's why yeah. we were going to say you were going to probably maybe give your opinion on a few things too. I'll weigh to in. See um, if, I uh, mean, so, you know, there's some how, genres that are sure. like too cool for me. <laughs> <laughs> too modern. Um, I'm an old guy, but I'll do my best. And uh, also, yeah, I want to go back to that thought uh, right before I said hello to everybody, which was that people wrote in last week and said, well, you know, the libraries I work with don't want me to tag it. Um, maybe they don't want you to tag it with genres because they'd rather pick the genres. Maybe they feel that they've got a better grip on that than the person who created it because you can't be as objective as they can. More importantly, though, what they do want from you is your first name, your last name, your contact information. Probably best to have your cell phone, not a landline. Your cell phone, your email address, the one that you actually check every day because they may need you in a hurry yeah. for something. Um, and the writers, all the writers. Definitely. All the PROs, the splits. And um, you know, make sure everyone's on board too. Make sure you have all the information. Yeah. Don't wait till the last minute to reach out to your friend in Australia or you know, New Zealand, <laughs> and uh, if, if you're an artist, put your booking, you know, manager's information down there too. Yep. You know, a lot of times they'll have, uh, they'll want artists to be on camera if they'd love the song that much, you know. Yeah, for a show like One Tree Hill or something, yeah, they yeah. occasionally had. I had an artist recently who, they loved her so much to shoot on a show, yeah, called Better Things, yeah, well, she was one of the original I Catch. Oh, they wow. Loved, yeah, they, they put her in one of the episodes. They loved the song so much. It was a bar scene in Chicago. She's like, we love wow. it. We want to have her on, on camera. And Wow. Yeah, she got paid double. Nice. <laughs> All right, so Ariana is playing DJ today, and the first thing up is called Destiny and Destinations by Frank Lavelle. Let's have a listen. got the fade going over there yeah all right so let's see what you guys say uh, no commenting on the music itself uh, we're not here for that today we're not here to talk about the mix with the snare poking out uh, I want to keep us focused especially you folks in the chat room because you're playing the game of how would you tag this so let's hear um, how you tag it 
Um, Amanda Sullivan says it sounds a bit like folk. Um, I agree. Harry Harlow says, I feel so old. Modern music has such weird beats, especially after talking about the I get. <laughs> <laughs> I spy uh, okay adult pop trop rock uh interesting a c m o r uh country road fruit stand feel really <laughs> sorry That's I don't funny. mean to be judgmental but um happy classic alt rock uh definitely well, a lot of good ones yeah uh, travel commercial, Rebel America. The rhythm is Latin derived, upbeat folk, country folk, singer songwriter, Americana, kids, jolly song, 70s folkish from Cass McKenty. How's that, baby goat, Cass? Um, hashtag road song, upbeat, sure, Caribbean. Um, peppy optimistic that's a good one optimistic country folk agree with that jolly song singer wrong songwriter americana easy listening uh alternative folk optimistic um peter rahill would classify it as odul's non-alcoholic <laughs> uh, okay wind chimes music calls it island uh Rick Allen and the Long Time Coming Band. Hey, is there a market for us old guys still? Yes, Rick, that's another show, and I've done stuff on that. <laughs> There's absolutely, you know, some of our biggest earning taxi members, like single biggest um, fees paid for a placement, have gone to people that had vintage music that was from like 1990s or earlier. People that have music that they did on their TAC four tracks in the 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, people that did stuff on ADATs have landed some really nice placement. But that's a whole other subject. So now you've heard what they said. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I think they did a really good job. Um, what I had, I guess the main like genre would be definitely Americana, Heartland, definitely Roots. Definitely hear a country vibe, 70s for sure. Okay. Uh, I mean, you could put acoustic rock, that, but it's definitely more retro 70s. Uh, as far as, as maybe the, the, the moods, definitely driving, positive, fun, feeling good. Um, and like for like maybe usage, family, road trips, traveling. Mm -hmm. uh, and then as far as, it's always good to put like the uh, featured instruments, definitely male vocals, acoustic guitars, piano. And I guess there's some sort of uh, like a, an accordion or like a squeeze box in there. I think that really kind of stuck out too. So there would be the main, you know, as far as the, the genre, the mood, the usage, uh, and also the instruments. And obviously like mid-tempo, you know, mid-tempo, I'm, te I'm tempo. I, I should, I probably should have said this at the top of the show, but yeah, go ahead and give us, when you're making your suggestions in the chat room, go ahead and give us um, your genre suggestions as well as other descriptors like light happy yep. um you know so genre and mood because those are the most important things when somebody like a video editor is going down a list of stuff uh, you know in what they call a bin which is basically an electronic bucket filled with music they're yeah. looking mm -hmm. for those keywords that jump out at them and, and as you mentioned on yeah. last week's show they shouldn't uh, they should make sure to get as many as they can truthfully get in there exactly but they shouldn't um Keyword stuff it to the point not where, at all, no. okay, you know, where they try and put everything in there so it shows up in every. Yeah, have some integrity, be true, and and yeah, don't 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 uh, give them what they want. Don't give them what you want to give them. Right. You know, otherwise like we mentioned <laughs> they're not going to want to use you anymore. They're not going to trust you, you know your submissions anymore. Right. And you don't get three strikes. <laughs> so that's true. <laughs> um, so Frank sent in these tags: light, yeah, light bouncy upbeat yes and mm -hmm. advertising yes mm -hmm. um so that's good um didn't mention a genre but mentioned um you know descriptors yeah genres so. are important because i mean advertising could be you know is it pop is it rock is it urban you know so is it hip-hop so that's definitely none of the, the above so right. let, let the advertiser know that immediately you know what it is so they know not to open it 
I mean, that's one thing that's frustrating too. And they just get a whole, like you said, a bucket, a whole bin filled with music, and it's not what they need or what they're looking for. Right. So, create playlists is really important too. Just as important as your mood, like playlists, like you know, traveling music, you know, uh, like a lot of like uh, you know, bar fights or. Uh, so you're saying that of, that our members and the musicians should organize their stuff into definitely. playlists, so that if they see a taxi listing or they get a brief that says looking for exactly stuff, you know, romantic or bar fight. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> whether whether it's for taxi or whatever, yeah. Or just Thank you. if you you know directly through an advertiser, a trailer company, a supervisor, and. Uh, yeah, def- definitely have your, your playlist. Uh, I think one example is always like tension music. It's so broad. Right. You know, is it creepy, eerie? It could be for horror. It could be for like a lot of the ghost, you know, It could be, shows. is, is, is she going to get the rose on The Bachelor? Exactly. The, oh, get deliberation, yeah. uh, you know, uh, people being eliminated. Uh, is it? Is it? <laughs> That's the new Bachelor. Yeah. If, if I mean, you're so eliminated, many, they actually decapitate. So many competition <laughs> shows. Everything has elimination. Everything's competition. Everything's deliberation. Uh, is it? You know? Is it spy? Is it mystery? Is it dramatic tension? Is it more action? So it, you can't even just say tension suspense anymore. You kind of have to have a playlist. Like, what's the use? Right. You know. Speaking of tension, did you watch the Super Bowl? Yes, it was actually, I thought it was solid. Yeah. Up until the last five minutes. <laughs> right. It was, I kept thinking yeah. that all throughout mm-hmm. the game. One of the more exciting Super Bowls. Yeah. And uh, Have Patrick any, Mahomes. Uh, any taxi music on Super Bowls? You know, honestly, I don't know about this year, but we've had music that has actually been on Super Bowls, like on bumpers and, uh-huh. and, and stuff like Excellent. that. Excellent. Uh, and a fair amount that's made it into playoff games. Um both NBA, NFL, I don't know about MLB or not, but anyway, yeah. Cool, it's excellent. We've That's had great. some That's good placements. All right, so the next one up is called Jumping for Joy, and this is by David Reccioni, I'm guessing. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Let's have a listen. I should have mentioned to you guys, why don't you start spewing out your tags uh, after we finish playing it, because I can't just rattle them all off while it's playing. That would distract from the music. Uh, so go ahead. I'm going to start reading them off. Um, motivational, up-tempo, positive vibe, 70s, um, driving to the sunset, flat, whoa, um, 80s, they're going by too quick. Uh, driving off with your new boyfriend or girlfriend. <laughs> um, <laughs> vocational, um, light, hap- light rock, happy, corporate, uplifting, motivational, corporate. Um, Cass McKenty says determined. Um, 80s TV show, theme song style, instrumental. Happy HR training video. Um, cop show TV cop show TV show theme Hill Street Blues ish um, happy upbeat creative road trip uh, morning tunes uh, 
talk show, up-tempo 70s, theme music, um, instrumental, spiritual, contemporary. So this time, so I don't forget, I'm going to tell you what David Reccioni um, tagged the music as, which was joyous, inspirational, uplifting, and energetic. What say you, sir? Yes, I think uh, David's tags, I think, were, were accurate. Uh, as far as the genre, it definitely give it you know pop rock. Definitely has a retro feel. It almost has a Broadway vibe too. I think. Uh, I think some of the uh, people mentioned uh, definitely game show, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, talk show, but more like uh, '80s '90s. I wouldn't really say like contemporary. Right. But uh, definitely as far as just the mood, definitely driving, feeling good, fun, happy, positive. Those are really important things to put in that. Uh, I don't think he added. Uh, definitely put piano and strings uh, as, as far as the, the instruments, the featured instruments. And for use, usage, definitely advertising, uh, corporate, uh, even tasking. You know, we mentioned that last week. Right. You know, um, I can picture this on uh, one of those like do-it-yourself shows, you know, while they're, while they're building a house, you know, like really mm-hmm. happy, positive, you know, rebuilding, so. Um. Remember, there was a show. I don't know if you're old enough, frankly. Uh, greatest, <laughs> I think it was called Greatest American Hero. Yes, Believe of it or uh-huh. not, this sounds like a theme from that okay. era. Okay. Instru- instrumentation wise, yeah. general mood wise, sure. kind of inspiring yes. and hopeful. And yes, he, yeah, he mentioned it's inspirational, yeah, uplifting. Right. Those are great. Glad to be alive. Yeah. You know? Yeah, somebody mentioned Start of the Day. That's a good one. Yeah. Like an act in from like uh, just, you know. Tell them what an act in is. We live in LA, so you have to know. Yeah, just every to get every your driver's license every in. show has segments. You know, with an hour show has forty two minutes of content. Like a right. half hour show might have twenty two minutes of content, and you'll have commercial breaks. So you have that's why we that's why we always ask for sting outs and you know right. So the act out would be the, the, the you know the cue with the big sting out before the commercial break, and then the act in is out of the commercial break. So, so an act out might be somebody getting ticked off and storming out of the house and slamming the door and boom, it ends on a sting out there. And then the act in after the commercial break might be... Um, what we heard. What? Yeah, but I'm t- <laughs> trying to think of the scene that would go along with it might be... Uh, start of the new day. You know, it was the end of the night. Now the next day they're right. waking up early in the morning or, you know, they're getting into the office it's or, you know, attitude. they're getting into the police department, whatever the case may be. Right. Or, <laughs> you know, for, for the cop show. We mentioned cop show, so... All right. S- stick with the theme. Cool. All right, moving on to the next one, which is called Love Little by way, Honey. By the way, I'm sorry. What? By the way, Bumper's another one. Bumper, t- oh. t- act out, you know, yeah. tags, there's all the words. Uh, it that. probably would be something that would behoove a lot of musicians, excuse me, to do uh, music for TV, would be to buy a, a book about um, writing TV scripts or TV production and becoming familiar with the vernacular because it might actually Absolutely. open up your possibilities more if you understand the mind of the people who are actually making the shows. Sure. Just saying. Um, okay, next one is called Love Little Honey. This is by Real Williams. And remember, wait until the music is over. Thank you. 
All right, that was Love Little Honey by Real Williams. Named his kids Unreal and Surreal. Just saying. <laughs> or and his wife's name is Mrs. Williams. Um, okay, so you guys, spit it out. Tell us what you thought. Uh, Punkabilly, uh, bar band, up-tempo, straight-ahead rock, raw, busy drums, uh, electric guitar, alt-country, uh, classic rock, hillbilly retro rock, punk country, um, Punkabilly, I like that, Punkabilly, yeah. 80s garage rock song, um, garage band, retro rock, blues, garage band, raw, um, rock mood, happy, uh, oh, I see tags, genre rock, um, good going, Paul, uh, mood, happy, positive. There you go. Paul House gets an A for um, breaking it up like that. Yeah. Nice, energetic, punk, blues, retro rock, not sure what they're going for. Zydeco? Yeah, I wouldn't hear Zydeco. Yeah. Um, there weren't no washboard in there. <laughs> um, indie, blues, punk, fun, party. Yeah, I wouldn't say bluegrass, but definitely for uh, Claude. But definitely blues, hillbilly, rock for sure. Yeah. I would say 70s, not 60s. I would say more 70s, 80s. Punkabilly, yeah, that's cool. Somebody commenting on that. Um, high school garage band, alt rock, upbeat guitar, Fr frantic. Frantic's a good one if it was a little faster. Yeah. Definitely has a kind of um, frenetic, frantic. Yeah, I, I would put down, uh, where are we? Here we are. Uh, yeah, definitely punk, uh, rockabilly, uh, definitely garage rock for sure. 70s, 80s. It almost has like a, a meatloaf meets violent femmes vibe <laughs> if that's possible good one you know um as far as just the mood driving energetic raw uh i mean i would not you know he this might not be the intent but i'd say quirky you know it's definitely quirky you know he had um real williams uh gave us three tags which are gratuitous guitar song um with a comma between yeah. them and and i'm not really sure what gratuitous means yeah in this context, um, like, is it a, th do you think it's a throwaway? I, they're actually, you know, it's funny, I was listening to it, uh, and it's, I asked you guys not to comment on, you know, the quality of the song or the production or anything. And this sounded like a rehearsal recording. Yeah, and, and that's it what started, I wrote down, yeah. yeah. It was clearly a rehearsal type thing. Everybody's kind of finding their feet in the beginning and then it gelled into something a little more. And I'm thinking, boy, that'll never get used. Then I actually no, thought of it a great usage. I actually got a use for that in a show I was working on. They wanted warm-up music, rehearsal music. Yeah. So this would be perfect warm-up rehearsal would, music yeah. for the background, for the intro <laughs> right you know yeah or and, um you know the kids are at home and mom and dad hear that coming exactly. from the garage and they shut the family room door and the family yeah. they just give up and leave the house yeah, yeah. so yeah they're uh, always don't forget used. to put male vocals too i mean if you have vocals in it just Ooh, make, sure, make sure you add the vocals that eliminates you know yeah that may be the best information you've given out so far in this show is that by Tagging it with male vocals. If somebody's looking for female vocals, they're not even going to look at this. Sure. Which you've made them happy. Exactly. You've made their yeah, job. Yeah. And they're easier. specifically looking for male, or they might not. You know, need vocals, so <laughs> they'll skip your song. Right. But at least they'll, you know, it, 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 it's good to let them know that. Yeah, yeah I think that's a great suggestion. Yeah. All right, the next one we have is called "Moment of Truth," and this is by Mark Parr. <laughs>
All right, you guys, tell me what you're thinking. Um, let's see, where are we? Futuristic, robotic, mysterious, um, tension, game show, mid-tempo, instrumental, hip-hop beat, piano feature, investigation, montage, determined, whoa, scrolling by really fast. They were waiting. Yeah, really. New Age Hysterious, this is really good. Could see lots of use. Yeah, that's a little long for a tag. Um, easy listening, keyboard instrumental, light suspense, investigation. Inve whoa, where'd that go? Inve yeah. Anyway, uh, it's really good. There we are back there. Almost industrial. Um, cue music for CSI detective show, figuring out who done it. Um, is that uh, procedural? Would that be the right word yes. for that? Yes, um, definitely. Um, chill instrumental, intrigue, ambient, romantic, mysterious, action, new age, um, new ice age. <laughs> Is that even a genre? You pull on my leg. Um, theme music, electronic dance. Uh, I don't know, man. That'd be kind of a weird dance. That'd be Diane from Seinfeld trying to, die, funny. to dance to that. Um, mood, mood curious. <laughs> I went out with a girl that was mood curious once. And introspective makes you want to drink rock star dance. <laughs> yes, Carl, you get an A for that. Uh, contemporary instrumental, upbeat, suspense, piano, bass, night shift, electronic light, investigation cue. Oh, procedural, good word. Thank you, Mojo. Uh, tags, uh, I love the way Paul House is breaking this out. A lot of great but, stuff, yeah. Um, genre, um, mood, consideration, style, possible usage, competition, decision, time, uh, competition, decision, time, yeah. instrumentation, electronic. Um, so yeah, Paul House, you're really getting it. Uh, yeah, George, great stuff. Yeah, dystopian. Okay, um, and the person who sent it, Mark Parr, would tag it as urban tension investigation and electronic. Yeah, I, I uh, yeah, somebody right. mentioned urban. Yeah, I mean I could definitely I can definitely picture the urban. I wouldn't put, really put urban really to be yeah, honest. It's got a soft hip hop beat to yeah. it, but it's almost yeah. It's more it's like not I, the I, thing. it's more electronic hybrid. Um, as far as like maybe just the the, the genres, the, the sound, the, the uh, textures of it. But this is a situation where. Uh, the actual category would probably be more investigative detective mystery, right. depending on the production library, depending on, you know, that this is a case where playlist is important. So it's definitely electronic, definitely hybrid, definitely synthetic, uh, definitely as far as mood, it's ambient, atmospheric, uh, investigative mystery, suspense, police, scientific, ER, CSI. Yeah, all it's definitely are, CSI procedural, where they're definitely. swabbing the room yeah. and using the luminol and, on the carpet. And definitely mentioned piano chimes. And even though it's kind of like a, like a, like I don't know if it's an electronic guitar, but it's like, an, like in the background, like a, like a frog guitar. It sounds good. It doesn't, you know. But, Didn't uh, even notice it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, but definitely, yeah, I would say electronic hybrid, but all the uses they mentioned would be the, an idea, an example of um, playlist that a lot right. of, uh, you know, a lot of these, these, you know, aggregate sites would definitely put that as a playlist, you know. So music do me a favor. For, music um, in the vein of, in the style of, for use in, those are the type of things you would so think So for of. the next one, you guys, why don't you do um, what Paul House has been doing, which is um, put um, genre equals or genre colon in, in name off some genres and then mood and put that in your post so that we break it up uh, or break it out a little bit like that, okay? Um, but they were 99% spot on. Great. Yeah. It, it works, it really. To yeah. actually do it, I think, makes it stick in your head, you know? Mm -hmm. um, okay, number five is called Hey, Hi, Hey, 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 Hey by Sandy Pollock. Uh, let's have a listen. Go 
to a mosaic and wild ghost charm Run and sail, run and serve Leave my neighbor with salt of the earth Hey, 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 hey Living where you've cracked the code yep. Singing together Good song Good job, Sandy Alright, let us see what your fellow members say uh, John Allen says Genre is adult, contemporary pop Okay, I messed that up the way I read it but It's adult, contemporary pop Dan Weber says it's LOL <laughs> <laughs> Linda Cullum, adult contemporary, uh, medium tempo, and hopeful. Um, Ken Mesford says genre is pop, mood is hopeful, encouraging, and uplifting. Uh, Wendell, Wendy Lander says genre equals adult alternative, mood equals hopeful. Um, genre, I've got to read these faster because they're coming in. Okay, Earl, oh man, oh man. All right, I'm going I'm to go catch up with you guys. Um, okay, adult alternative mood, hopeful mood, um, anthem like genre popular uh, mood, hopeful, happy sunny mood, genre pop um, contemporary, genre adult contemporary pop uh, mood is hopeful. A lot of hopeful showing up for this yeah. one, which is good. Uh, I love when we get consensus. Um, Peter Rayhill, like that one. Well done. Agree with John Allen. That's a little long for a tag there, Peter. Um, <laughs> Jay Lee says, pop, uh, slow tempo, inspirational, hopeful. There's that word again. Friendship scene equals strings, uh, uh, friendship scene, uh, strings and brass. Um, hi, Michael. This is David Bryan. Remember triad recording? Hell yeah. How could I forget triad recording? It was part of my life for like five and a half years every day. I don't remember you, David, but uh, shoot an email to memberservicesattaxi.com and let's reconnect because nothing I like better than uh, walking down memory lane with studio stuff. Um, all right, so there's a bunch of stuff. Prestigious, positive adult contemporary, alt rock, um, pop, nice production, and let's see, Sandy in, in some really well done um, tags. Mid-tempo, upbeat, uplifting, playful, grateful, inspired, adventurous, natural, lighthearted, harmonious, indigenous music. Now, when I hear indigenous music, I think of like Eskimo music, yeah. Native American music, um, it's world world music, ethnic yeah, music. Right. You know. So I'm not sure that this yeah. would be classified. Yeah, I highlighted some stuff that I disagreed with, but for the most part, she was pretty good. Okay. Um, female vocal. Yeah. Um, coastal vibe. I, yeah, I didn't get that. I know. Uh, the, I know the songs about the West Coast. Yeah, that mentioned. But yeah, it's so the lyrically, uh, maybe, but music wise yeah I, 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 i'm not I, even I, sure yeah. what that is i thought maybe i'm too old to know yeah. i don't know maybe it's a genre you know on spotify that i'm uh, unaware of anything's possible um pop folk acoustic singer songwriter coming together so what say you joe yeah out of the ones you mentioned uh, the ones i probably would not have added would be adventurous uh, like we said indigenous music mm -hmm. and uh folk and acoustic uh, I, I, the one thing nobody mentioned, but I would have put indie electro pop. That's what oh, I hear yeah. more than anything. And yeah, pop AC for sure. I'm not, you know, folk music, maybe I'm just old school or a purist, but folk music to me, real folk music is Woody Guthrie, yeah. Joan mm -hmm. Baez. Um, and it's a, largely about the American experience. Sure. Some of it is connected to the labor movement back in the yes. day. Mm -hmm. Nowadays we have indie folk and folk pop and all these kind of bastardizations of yeah. what folk is. I'm not mm -hmm. even sure what it is anymore. I would love same, same thing with indie. You know, indie, nothing's indie anymore. Right. You know? <laughs> indie, indie is mainstream yeah. now. But, but I would definitely indie electro pop. Now, speaking of nothing being indie, yeah. uh, <laughs> as far as just a sound. That's, that, and uh, 
since she mentions, uh, you know, the West Coast, and and I think she, uh, I forget, I've written down, I had it written down, but add Paradise, tropical, mm-hmm. summertime, as far as the lyrics go, like lyrically, those are important keywords. Uh, friendship, uh, as far as an- Anthem was good, but it would definitely would need a bigger build and maybe just a bigger chorus. Uh, so it was, it could be anth- anth- anthemic if she went back in and. Uh, you know, add a little more production, maybe a new mix to it. Uh, but definitely positive, hopeful, uplifting, um, all all good stuff. I think I think most of these were all mentioned in the uh, by the members. So good job on both both sides. I like the fact that you just mentioned lyric keywords. Um, this is something. Even those of you who say, "Well, I don't want to do too much tagging on," you know, on the um, style or the genre, maybe. Um, or even the mood, because maybe the library owners, you know, if you're if you're going for library to sign like library deals, and they don't want you to predetermine what you think the genre, the moods are, because they'd rather do that because they know their customer base and they've got more experience than you, and they can be objective. But you know what? Along with the first name, the last name, the email address, the phone number, um, all the writers listed on there. Lyric keyword you just Definitely. mentioned, and that's one that's not subjective. I mean, that that's just it is what it is. It is what it is. Yes. So mm-hmm. if you've got a chorus that talks about you know the West Coast, put that if that's the primary. Don't include exactly. you know but and the but anything that yeah, really if you're talking pops about, out. If you're talking about being on a beach and the ocean waves, mention summer. Right. You know, mention tropical. Mention, mention waves. You know, yeah. Wave. Ocean. Yeah. Whatever, because because those, are, those are the things that will get the attention of people looking. Sure. Which um, is something. Yeah. Which is for for lyrics and, and artists, that's something another yeah. layer you have to add into the whole keyword thing. Right. Yeah. Keywords obviously wouldn't be applicable to uh, instrumentals. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you had uh, marimbas and you know. And you know, like steel steel drums and things like that. Then you can add a lot of that in there. But yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, good job on that. Um, moving on now to Tangerine Moon by Jim Wilson. Excellent job on that one. That was yep. a well written, well performed cue. Uh, okay, let's see what you guys had to say. Uh, good afternoon, all. I'm thinking that's not a cue. Uh, whoa, a lot of mystery, thriller, tension, uh, search scene, preparation scene, pensive. Um, 
<laughs> it was a really good suggestion on my part to have you guys wait, but there is a downside <laughs> of ambient, symphonic, instrumental, mood, serious, intense, secrecy, orchestral mood, suspense, mystery. Oh, genre is light orchestral. Mood is suspense, mystery. Wendy Lander says mood is investi investigative or investigative, depending on which part of the country you're from. Um, genre equals electronic. Uh, John Allen says electronic uh, is the genre, mood is foreboding but not dark, um, carelessly curious. That was a Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young song, right? <laughs> carelessly curious. All the people under 40 are going, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> Tension, mysterious. Carl Wurzbach says genre is elimination, investigative, uh, moods are tense, mysterious, investigative. Gloria Covington, instrumental, mid-tempo, piano, suspense. Uh, Robbie Hancock, tension, investigative, pensive, space, uh, Claude Robinson, space, tension, jazz, piano, strings, wind chime says deliberation, yucky or yucky <laughs> says tasking. tasking yeah. um, anyway, uh, really good stuff. Um, Jim Wilson, who's the person that sent that in, called it moody, exotic, spy thriller. And what would you say, Joe? I wouldn't add exotic. Um, I don't think it has any exotic elements. Did you hear that? No, I mean, if you're thinking like a James Bond film, an exotic I, location, yeah. but that's really stretching it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it can be anywhere. Yeah, it can be, you know, Calabasas. So, right. uh, uh, definitely electronic. Uh, there's definitely some, some strings, so, so some modern orchestral, I guess, elements, some hybrid, definitely yeah. a hybrid. I would say uh, that. As far as the mood, uh, right, ambient, investigative, mystery, suspense, light tension, definitely dramatic. Uh, uh, somebody mentioned definitely deliberation, uh, pensive, mm -hmm. tasking is a good one, um, and uh, I think there was a change like right in the beginning that uh, became more positive, uh, which I definitely I would add like transition. You know, mm, when, when that's you, a good one. Yeah, so when you when you write your descriptions, it's mentioned that there is a transition. Um, ideally, I'd, I would like it to stay in one. You know complete thought i mean b sections are great but not when it changes too much as far as yeah it was almost yeah, like um, it became too positive and less what i think it was originally right. which was awesome if it you started know? out like a, a scene that was in, an investigation and uh somebody's gone out and yeah. they're going through the house of the apartment sure. looking for the documents and now they find the yeah. documents and they're looking at them and sure. it reveals something yeah they'll it call would, that reveal they'll, they'll call that reveal cues a lot of times there you go you know i like that remember that reveal transitions cues. and reveals if it changes if it goes from happy to sad from sad to happy to have a lot of those reveals that you know What's behind door number three? You don't know. Let's reveal it, and then it changes. It could be really happy, or it could be really crummy. <laughs> By the way, I want to mention, not for nothing, um, Ariana suggested that Deb and I go see the film Parasite, which we did on Saturday evening. i got to say, great movie. If you haven't seen it, it is on Vudu and a couple other streaming services, but it's not on Amazon Prime yet, and it's not on... Oh, what's the other one? Um, Apple. It's not Netflix, on. It's not on Netflix. Anyway, uh, really, really good movie. Parasite. It's a Korean film with subtitles, but really digestible. I know sometimes some title subtitles can be a little too much work. You won't feel like that. You'll love the movie. Have you seen it yet? My nephew raves about it, so I have to go see it. Yeah, it's a must yeah. see. It's really. He's an older nephew. He's not twelve. <laughs> it, it's a. Uh, it's very unique and original. It was re that was the first thing when Deb and I were walking out of the theater. We um, were talking to the husband and wife sitting in the seats next to us, and we all agreed that they're um, not a formulaic film like almost everything else. Oh, that's like such and such. Exactly. I mean, yeah. This was loosely. I think even you said this, Ariana, that it's kind of in the category of Slumdog Millionaire for okay. the you know the message. Um, I, I won't go into what the message is. You figure it out on your own but yeah definitely go see parasol it's not about tapeworms <laughs> um okay i cannot pronounce this next one lagrimas de aie lagrimas de aie tears from yesterday <laughs> i'm the only one here that doesn't speak spanish i barely speak english but you know what i do okay for guys that's got limited vocabulary um okay so this is by andre stepanian um let's have a listen See what you think.
see what you guys in the viewing audience had to say. Um, I think enchanting is a great tag too. Um, romantic or active, romantic, tender, uh, flamenco, Caribbean, romantic, acoustic, romantic guitar, romantic, minimal, acoustic cue, um, dance, uh, yeah, limited types of dance, cute meat, what? Cute meat, like d double E, not like meat on your plate. Uh, mellow, acoustic, relaxing, uh, whoa, here they come. Uh, genre, classical guitar, mood, sentimental, mellow, acoustic, relaxing, peaceful, no stress. Nice guitar work. Yeah, that's a great yeah. tag. <laughs> Sexy love story, international adult. <coughs> Oh, I'm not even going to go there. Um, <laughs> Latin acoustic. Uh, picture it. <laughs> yeah, mood, minor key, reflective, acoustic guitar, Latin feel. Uh, chord changes remind me of the theme from MASH. <laughs> good old circle of fifths. <laughs> Very good, uh, Nina Harris. Uh, Spanish guitar solo with accompaniment. Um, genre classical, passionate, energetic. Uh, genre, or, or, Earl Clue like. <laughs> uh, mood, lonely nights. Um, uh, here, whoa, where did he go? Paul, here we go. Paul House, uh, who's clearly getting it today. Tags, um, genre is genre Q, mood, peaceful, style, Spanish, possible usage, Mediterranean scene, instrumentation, acoustic guitar. Andre's not saying anything. <laughs> well, you already did. I'm gonna <laughs> say what you said. Cantina music, flamenco, uh, me cute what i'm totally lost now instrumental mid-tempo piano acoustic guitar love scene restaurant restaurant that's an important thing yeah um okay so andre said his tags would have been latin bolero romantic uh reminiscent um guitar and instrumental i threw in cocktail Definitely. No, I think they're all great. I mean, everything, I would, I'm stealing stuff from the members right now. I'm like, I wow, steal that was from good. the members all the time. <laughs> Some great stuff. I mean, definitely world ethnic, obviously. Spanish. Uh, it could even have a Brazilian, Portuguese, feel Mediterranean, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, I saw the um, the Wrecking Crew uh, documentary a while back, and I guess Tom Tedesco was one of the guitar players, a big Wrecking yeah. Crew guys, and he said he would. He came up with the, the Spanish guitar licks. And whenever a director would ask him, we need Cuban, same exact lick. <laughs> we want, you know, Mexican, same lick. You want, Spanish, you know, whatever, Portuguese, same lick. And it, it's South American. And, That's so great. And it's kind of funny. Some, obviously, like most directors, a lot of directors, it has to be very authentic. Yeah. A lot of times, hey, it sounds Latin, it sounds South American, it sounds good, you know. So you can kind of, like, get away with some of that stuff. <laughs> But, uh, you know, try to be on the nose if, if you can, but you can't get away with it in this instance. Unless your director's <laughs> last name is Hispanic, you might exactly, not be able to pull that off. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, but definitely a lot, all, all travel shows. It'd be great for travel shows, uh, food shows, you know. But uh, definitely, uh, I think you can even put pretty. I mean, the pretty song. I think you can even put that in, you know, you're not being, you know, as a, as a description. Maybe intimate? Uh, um, definitely intimate, tender, heartfelt, mm -hmm. sentimental, uh, and a lot of the, you know, the keywords, uh, the moods that, you know, exotic. This is an example of exotic for sure, I think. Right. You know, uh, definitely piano, Latin percussion, you know, acoustic guitar, definitely flamenco, even though I, I think of flamenco more like nylon strings. Uh, this is, I think this has steel strings. Uh, but yeah, I think this was dialogue. But this is, but all, all, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a really nice cue, and, and I think the members really. Yeah, I mean, so many applications for yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. um, good, really, really, yeah. really good job, Andre. Okay, next one is Desert Spark. Uh, Phoenix rises by. Gargantuous. Gargantuous music slash Ken Mesford. Okay. So Desert Spark Phoenix Rises is the title. It sounds like the next Marvel movie, but okay. Let's have a listen. <laughs>
just had to let this go to see where it was going. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right. Um, good fate, Ariana. <laughs> She's laughing. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see what you guys have to say. Um, Shredinsko. Saudi doors. <laughs> Trucking metal guitar riffs. Um, uh, whoa. Uh, genre metal mood action. Indian metal Middle Eastern grunge. <laughs> Um, genre rock, ethnic mood, uh, ethnic metal, uh, mood, tension, adventurous, uh, racing scene, fight scene, Middle Eastern rock, gunfight, garage rock. Genre is metal, Middle Eastern grunge. Mood is dark, ominous, iron, butterfly-ish. <laughs> oh, the kids today would have no idea what that is. What a great band they were. Uh, Middle Eastern rock, light scene, exotic place. Do you know uh, Iron Butterfly? Mm -mm. Inagata De Vida? Inagata De Vida. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. I will never sing again in the show. That's a solemn promise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, all the good, good suggestions. All, all great stuff. Some, some stuff I disagree with. Definitely, I, I wouldn't put garage rock. Definitely not grunge. Uh, I wouldn't put j jazz. Uh, it had a little prog rockish yeah. guitar work in there, but not jazz. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd put hard rock, definitely metal, retro, medieval. Mm. Uh, you know, lead guitar driven. I mean, that's the main instrument, you know. Uh, if you had a playlist, you know, Guitar Hero, you know. Yeah. You have your Guitar Hero playlist. Uh, guitar Hero Saudi Arabia. Melodic. <laughs> yeah. This is another example of exotic. Definitely has exotic. I think he was spot on with the Middle Eastern. Yeah. Uh, world, uh, I wouldn't put down film score, cinematic. Uh, I think it needs to be bigger. Maybe have more string elements to it, a little bit more epic, anthemic. I don't think it had that that vibe, so I wouldn't put that in uh, personally. Uh, I wouldn't put down high energy either. I don't yeah, think it's not, it, high, it's energy. not high energy. It's not driving. Uh, it's driving, but it's not uh, up tempo enough for. It's you more know. like um, not plotting, but it, it's like you can feel like the characters yeah, definitely dark. walking through, you know, this yeah. dark, weird place. But it's not dry. What's the word for that when you're walking with determination, like one foot after? Yeah, determination and... inspired to action. Yeah, uh, I would put it's driving. It's it's dark, uh, ready for battle. You know, definitely has a, like you were saying, like kind of you know, like determined driving. You know, inspiring to you know. Yeah, there was a uh, music supervisor who I spoke to about nine months ago, and she's working on a fairly well-known series that's on cable, um, and it's an action series. It's not exactly a household word, but those of us who've watched it like it and probably DVR it. And she needed a bunch of Middle Eastern like. Uh, Middle Eastern rock that would go well in in battle scenes, mm -hmm. and, and this would have been something yeah. I would have sent her. Totally, Vi sorry, she, she doesn't need it anymore. Vikings, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> but I, I definitely had like that little, you know, if if they were going to go that more, you know, rock soundtrack, video game, yeah. you know, it's yeah. definitely got that mm -hmm. um, coming over the rise of the hill, looking down on the village you're yeah. about to. But pillage. it's good that he mentioned keyboard and guitar, drums. I don't think you have to. Uh, Sometimes you don't have to always put down guitar, bass, and drums because if it's you know if it's rock, it's always going to have bass and drums for the most part. You know, unless it's you know same thing with uh, if it's hip hop, you don't have to put you know hip hop beat. We we know it's urban. If it doesn't have a beat, then it's not urban. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So sometimes you know if, uh, it's not necessary to put that stuff in. I guess it doesn't hurt, but you know just put the main driving instrument that you know the guitar the piano the strings, notable thing the violin the, yep what, what the melodic part of it all right the next one is called um i do what i want this is by john pearson yo jp i don't follow no one script too busy living mine living mine. i'm a true original i gotta let me shine let me shine into the bright sky I let my dreams fly Call it my wild side, wild side. I do what I want 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 Know what I am what I am. Know what I'm not what I'm not. No time for second thoughts I do what I want 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 Yeah, yeah. 
see me on the streets, you say she's killing it. Killing Cause it. I'm not waiting for my chance, you know I'm willing it, feeling it. Yeah. Into the wild sky, wild I sky. let myself fly, call it my bright side. Bright side. I do what I want. Good job, JP. All right, let's see what your fellow members have to say. Uh, quirky Pop, uh, empowering song, pop, happy, cocky, swagger, uh, genre, comedy, mood, comedic, um, punchy mix, uh, uh, urban pop, we will get slow you guys down. Urban pop, um, character defining is a mood. I don't know that that's really understandable. I mean, I do know what it means, but I wouldn't say that would be a common one. Um, female vocals, urban techno, self empowerment, energetic. Yeah. Uh, mood is confident, female empowerment, anthemic, uh, happy, determined, upbeat pop. Um, Advertising pop, mood, positive, action, fun, great song, um, mm -hmm. upbeat, urban pop. Uh, okay, um, they're nailing a lot of it. Yeah. What say you? Uh, did we say what she put down? Did we, did we mention uh, that? Yeah, the, okay. So go ahead, Rev. Rev. This is what John Pearson sent us in for the tags. Yeah, I put down swagger, confident, attitude, fun, positive, empowerment, advertising, pop, female, vocal, up-tempo and sassy, they're all, I think they're all great. Uh, I think a lot of times if you're going to put advertising, it's also even good to put down commercials. <laughs> yeah. You know, just might as well just add that to it. Uh, definitely, I would put feeling good, confident, determined, which I think they, they mentioned. Uh, uh, I would, as far as the genre, say electro pop, or urban pop, mm -hmm. uh, definitely, you know, uh, even girl pop, girl power, attitude, you know, indie pop, it, it could even, you know, I think that's all that all works for this. This is just, it's a home run for advertising. Yeah, totally, totally. It's a, it's a great song and has a good mix of uh, urban and, and, and pop elements. All right. Yep. That's a good one. Moving on to number 10, which is Exit Stage Left by Mr. Carl Wurzbach. I'm reading my writing, weren't you? <laughs> I just sent Ariana a little note, uh, and she's looking at it going, what the heck is the boss saying there? Anyway, uh, good job on that, Carl. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, genre, mystery cue, cool, mysterious instruments, jazz rhythm section, vibes, quirky guitar, spy criminal, pink panther, very important that that was mentioned. Jazzy, yeah. mysterious, flying by too quickly. Uh, genre electronic, uh, mood sneaky, Mojo Bone says sneaky, Peter Rahill says could be dramedy, um, 
sneaky jazz, great song, good I spy music, background mystery, holding on phone line music. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe I should have said jazz. Uh, anyway, uh, okay. You yeah, all well, great stuff. Yeah. I think there's a situation where, uh, like, sometimes the the mood or the keyword is is what it is. It's just it's spy jazz is what I would call it. Yeah. You know, that's actually a category for a lot of, so it's obviously it's spy, obviously it's jazz. So it's, it's spy jazz, you know. Could, could you, do you get in trouble if you, you were to say Mancini-esque? Because um, Henry I mean, Mancini kind of I mean, defined that category I mean, with Pink yeah, Panther. Yeah, definitely like a lot of John Williams-esque you can put down. Uh, even, you know, Danny Elfman-esque, you know. So uh, that's kosher to do. Yeah. Because right? you're not ripping them off. Yeah, but it's, it's just an, in, in the vibe. Tip of tip or, the hat. Exactly, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I see that that's, that's okay with, with uh, even sometimes with, with films maybe, um, or, or like, you know, like, you know, like Star Wars or, or something like that. I think you're okay doing that. Um, as far as, uh, let's see, what do I have here? Um I think the, all the tags that that, that uh, <clears throat> Carl put down are pretty good. Uh, spy, myth, uh, dramedy, jazz, playful, sneaky, fun, cool, comedic, kitschy, uh, magical. I probably would not. I would probably lose that one. Mm -hmm. uh, positive, relaxed. Those are all good. Um, mysterious. Definitely. Uh, I would add. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely uh, mysterious. Uh, quirky. Undercover, dramedy, retro, uh, I think put down spy jazz, mischief. Uh, definitely if you can put sneaky, put mischief is a keyword that a lot of uh, uh, editors look for. <laughs> and I guess just the instruments, I guess the mallet instruments, vibe, uh, xylophone, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's definitely, uh, I think it's a really good cue. And I think, you know, I think the members and, and Carl nailed it. And good title, by the way, Exit yeah. Stage Left. Yeah. That works. Um, okay, next one is called What Time Is It Where You Are by Anthony Cesari. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> guys in the audience uh darren fletcher says barry manilow-ish voice a <laughs> um, little bit melancholy yes next book we need is demystifying all the tags uh, that's because paul house asked earlier is there a definitive book or article or website or anything that's a definitive list of tags my answer to that would be no because they're ever changing there are many lists out yeah, they're there they're constantly changing uh i think i posted one last time we were here uh all music has one that's pretty, maybe as far as uh, moods goes. But you should uh, check back because yeah, things change, right? Yeah, and, and it's always changing. And uh, if you go all to the all major production companies, all even iTunes and Pod5, they all have different categories, but yeah. it, it, they're interchangeable. But they're, you know, I, they're basically the same, but just... And when you look at that list... Semantics. <laughs> you've got, and you find something that you... Th you find yeah. something on the list you think your thing is... Take a deep breath and say to yourself, is it really that? No. You know, don't don't get carried away because uh, it's like giving somebody a box full of crayons and saying, what colors are they? You know, you mm -hmm. really 
got to think about it. Don't go crazy, which leads to another question somebody asked. It, it could have been Paul House earlier asked, how many tags are too many? Um, when you're stretching, <laughs> you've gone too yeah. far? Yeah. I mean, usually for the moods, I'd put like maybe two or three, the main, main mood. And then under the keywords, I would put, you know, variation. So if it's happy, positive, and then under... You know, under the keywords, I put feel good and fun. Uh, if it's sad and melancholy, then in the keywords, you would add sorrowful, somber, tragic, things like that. So, open, so definitely keep the mood, the main mood simple, mm -hmm. two or three. And then, uh, yeah, go crazy <laughs> with the keywords. But as long as they're, uh, you know, the synonyms that, you know, you would hear in music terms and, you know, you know what I love? I love your daughter because she types in Harry Styles. Go for it, Josephine. Good job. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay, genre, pop rock, mood. <laughs> Josephine rattled my cage there for a minute. Uh, pop rock, mood is contemplative. Uh, Reuben Walton says telecommunications commercial. Um Wendy Lander says, singer-songwriter, introspective. John Allen says, genre is adult contemporary, singer-songwriter, mood is lost opportunity. Um, I didn't see anybody uh, put introspective or contemplative down. I could have just missed it, but yeah, those so, would be yeah, Somebody said second uh, introspective up there. Oh, there we yeah. go, okay. Oh, I just read it and forgot that I read it. Um, see what old age does. I would like yeah. to put like uh, also an introspective, even like reflective, pensive, to, you know, to kind yeah. of sometimes they're interchangeable. Um, and editors a lot of times will, will throw those in to get a bunch of them up, even though they're not exactly the same all the times, but. Right, well, that's a great point, yeah. is keep similar descriptors together. Yeah, sure. Because that way you're kind of highlighting and underlying rather than, you know, having introspective be the first tag and then, um, you know, reflective is the ninth tag. Yeah. To have them together makes a statement, more yeah. of a, a clear statement. Um, Wendy Lander says, I'm using Composer, Composer Catalog, which, by the way, next week I'm going to have um, the inventor of Composer Catalog wow. on the show. Uh, taxi member Keith LeBrant will be our special guest. We're going to do a split screen remote, so that's exciting. Um, pop, mid-tempo, pensive, sad, electric guitar, keys, uh, leans towards ghetto, Peter Rahill says, sort of. Really? I'm, I'm not sure I even understand what that means, but look, you know, yeah. I, I'm not the definitive uh, arbiter of all things that make sense. Um, Ken the, Messford, the pop, are, sincere, warm, positive. Those are good. Um, <clears throat> Long time coming band says adult contemporary mood is wistful. There's a good word. Um, all right, so what what do you have, Joe? Uh, I I put down definitely pop AC is what I would put. You know, pop AC or you know male singer songwriter. Uh, as far as maybe like like a genre, uh, his tags were pretty good. Uh, lonely, reflective, melancholy, heartbreak, lost love, emotional. I would probably add uh, you know definitely relationships. Uh, and I think it's kind of funny, just with the lyrics, uh, th this would be like a perfect type of uh, lyric for like a cell phone commercial or like a long distance relationship mm -hmm. or even like a, like a Hallmark card type of thing. Not Hallmark Channel, but Hallmark card or uh, military, you know, like uh, yeah. you know, overseas. So I think that lyrically, it's really, I think it would be good for, for that type of use. Uh, probably have to like, you know, the production might obviously would have to opt the production a little bit more. But as far as the song and the lyrics, definitely I would... Uh, uh, that, that that's who I would kind of like, you know. That I would hear it in a in a in a in a scene or a film or an ad. Um, all right, moving on. This next one is called "This Is It." Short edit by Stefan Picard. <laughs> This is it, you know it can't be 
forget that I This is it Well this is it There ain't no storm in weather I be my guide to the light And everything will be alright Enthusiasm. <laughs> I swear, sometimes it's not the same exact sound that really? comes out of the thing. I think it's got another sample in there. Um, wow, that was very nice. Uh, let's see what you guys say. Lazy Chill, Bluegrass Celebratory, Road Song. Um, moving on, Mom says, what? Um, Singer-songwriter, Mood Determined. Um, like that guitar, laid back vacation, uh, Nina Harris, genre, soft rock, country rock, vocal harmony, male vocals, mood, gentle, romantic, soothing. Um, yeah, I like that you put soothing in there. One of the things that I put down was comforting. There was something very yeah. kind of like, you know, comfort food. Um, soothing comes up again. Um, Great voice for soothing, by the way. If that's you singing, Stefan, really, really good job. Um, Singer-songwriter, mood is peaceful, adult contemporary, Jack Johnson-esque. I had comforting too, says Nina Harris. Great minds think alike. Um, all right, uh, and what say you? Yeah, I like that he added all the instruments. Um, you know, male vocals, female vocals, dobro, ukulele, guitar. Uh, I'd put down female background vocals just just to you know mm -hmm. so they know it's not like an actual duet where it's male female just okay just to emphasize that because somebody might want that and they realize well she's kind of just backing the vocals not just but you know she's not a lead vocalist uh i i definitely definitely the, the music is definitely country uh not not so much the vocals definitely john J jack johnson-esque for sure mm -hmm. i definitely hear that i'd hear uh singer songwriter americana heartland roots rock could even be folk. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, I'd, I would add laid back, mellow. You know, comfort's a good one. Uh, easy listening. You know, I think those are all things I would add uh, as far as just the mood and the vibe. But pretty, pretty usable yeah. song. Yeah, um, totally. Lyrically, felt like it was good. That even has like a summer vibe to it too. You know, just just you know, playing guitar, acoustic guitar by the uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> on the beach. You know, the summertime. Anyway, really good job. Yeah. Um, okay, moving on. Um, let's do Tell the Truth by Tim Carey. trying to cure Ariana like yeah that's enough you can fade it now <laughs> I don't know if she perceives that she's getting it she's gotten about a hundred percent on these today but I'm sitting there rocking out bobbing doing the Lasco head bob and you guys that have been around for a long time know that I do the head bob a lot so 
good job on being perceptive and knowing which head bob means fade that sucker versus i'm just digging the music mm -hmm. anyway okay so you guys say 80s disco 80s beat synth pop euro beat uh genre equals dance mood equals fun genre urban edm upbeat um interesting uh genre urban latin electronic miami sound machine hmm. like um, head bobby music. <laughs> Thank you, Josephine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paul House says 80s instrumental, happy and positive, bright and sunny. Uh, Peter Rahill, uh, Madonna playlist, uh, techno pop yeah. workout. Yeah, there is definitely a little Madonna. I'd Madonna in there. for sure. Uh, hey, Josephine, who did you have picked for the Super Bowl yesterday? Did you win any money on the big game? <laughs> <laughs> she said Kansas City. <laughs> really? Yeah, when they were down by 10. <laughs> wow. Good job, young lady. Um, all right. Uh, and what say you, Joe? Um, it has like a 90s vibe, a little more retro, uh, electro pop, urban pop, definitely EDM. Uh, as far as uh, driving positive, upbeat, feeling good. Uh, you know, definitely, uh, you know, mid-tempo to off-tempo, so. And um, Tim Carey said EDM pop funk, um, energy dance. Um, uh, it could be funk, but I think the yeah. bass part would need to be funkier. Yeah, before definitely. I, would, I could see how it could go funk, but I don't think it is funk yet. Just Yeah, the, definitely the bass line in a drum, the whole the rhythm section would have to kind of what, what it tells what, what what if that's funk or not really yeah more, more than a melody for sure all right let's do one more let's skip up to the last one on the list which is called darling daughter klezmer by nina harris nina's been paying playing a really good game of which cue uh, what the heck do we call today's episode how would you tag this music for tv um nina harris been definitely getting an A so far. So we're, <laughs> we're playing your song for the last one, uh, or your cue, whatever it is. Uh, let's have a listen to Darling Daughter Klesner. <coughs> daughter said it was Tom and Jerry music. Good job on that. And uh, Cass McKenty said it's freaking my cat out mojo, which I'm <laughs> guessing that would be uh, the clarinet, the high parts on the clarinet. Um, okay, so Nina Harris, who has been quite expert at nailing tags today, said tags, minor key, happy, getting faster, horror, comical, yes, my darling daughter, whimsical, fun, tuba, uh, accordion, violin, clarinet, circus, quirky, Jewish, joyful, klezmer. I think all those are really good. Yeah. Let's see. Um, yeah, world ethnic, obviously, as, as far as just the genre. Yeah. Definitely klezmer, Polish, Jewish. Uh, moods, uh, fun, quirky, exotic, travel, bouncy, whimsical, uh, as far as like, you know, I wouldn't put this in a keyword instead, but definitely I hear Fiddler on the Roof, mm -hmm. any Woody Allen film, Kirby Enthusiasm, 
Like if they Ooh, need something yeah. like that vibe, hey, we need something. Did you ever for... see a Palestinian chicken? Uh uh-uh. uh. An episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh my gosh. This would have been perfect for it. Uh, Larry meets a, a woman who's the hostess at a Palestinian chicken mm-hmm. restaurant. And, That's great. Yeah, stuff happens. Uh, but not the great cue. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a fun cue for, for the right use, you know, for the right uh, opportunity. Um, the irony of ironies, we work with a, an Israeli music library, and they have actually run listings with us looking for klezmer music. Okay. It's like an entire nation of Jewish mm-hmm. people, and they're turning to us for klezmer. Mm-hmm. And I think that the reason is because many people in Israel don't really understand the music library business, mm-hmm. so you know, um, yeah. Americans are more tuned in. Sure, sure. Anyway, I find that ironic and kind of funny. Um, any other comments on this uh, one? No, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a great tune. It's definitely fun, uh, you know, but it has, I think this has to be for the right, for the right, you know, placement right. opportunity. It's going to be tough to, unless it's specifically for, you know, that, that part of the world, it'll be difficult, but, they, you know, with Food Network shows and travel, I mean, they have networks for food, they have yeah. networks for travel. Or, or even, um, you know, anything that's got a bar or bat mitzvah or exactly, Jewish wedding exactly. scene in it, you know, yes. or your uh, old Jewish uncle, sure. you know, who's going to the grocery yeah. store, yeah. this could place. Yeah, you can put that street. in, yeah, put bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah, put that all in there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, and the instruments, uh, definitely, what, clarinet, fiddle, tuba, uh, Definitely, those, those are whimsical is a good one, for sure. Yeah, I didn't get this one on my list. Um, yeah, it was a, a late entry, I think. Um, and add guilt. Guilt. Just, yes. Guilt. <laughs> Definitely the guilt. Anyway, um, wow, great job, you guys. Uh, I think really, I really, really nailed it, yeah. Yeah, yeah really I mean, good. It, it's... I'm so impressed that you guys actually think about this stuff, you're getting it, and uh, as you've learned through many, many episodes of Taxi TV, sometimes looking at other people's music and um, not your own, it helps you to Uh become better and hopefully those skills carry over to your own stuff. Joe, thank you again no, for thank doing you. this. Thank you. Thank you so much. I had a great time. By had the fun. way, had I, fun. I love your shirt. Just saying. Oh, thank uh, you. If you're wondering what to get me for my birthday next year, awesome. That shirt would I'll be rem- awesome. I'll remember that. <laughs> um, let's see. What else do I want to say? Oh, uh, don't forget to. I'm not going to hold up my little sign. Yeah, why not? What the heck? Um, subscribe. Hit that button. It's down the lower right hand corner. Just. It doesn't cost you anything, right? <laughs> Hit the bell in the upper right-hand corner so you get alerts when we go live. i got to keep looking at the camera, you know? Not very professional today. I don't know what to look at. And, of course, like us. And don't forget to add your comments. If you've got additional questions, Joe was actually kind enough last time to go into the comments and answer some. I will do my best over this coming weekend to do it. But you know what? While the questions are fresh in your mind right now, the show will be up in, like, what, five minutes after YouTube does its processing thing and all the little chipmunks or whatever running around that little wheel do um, to make it show up so um, don't forget to add your questions additional questions about tagging and metadata uh, in the comment section below and also don't forget next week's show we're going to have Mr. Keith LeBrant who is a you know that's part you got to either be named Brant or LeBrant to get on the show apparently Um, he's a a taxi member a very successful taxi member um, and he's also the inventor of Composer Catalog, which will help you a lot awesome. um, doing this. And reliable rumor has it we're going to be giving away not one, not two, wow. but possibly three copies of Composer Catalog on next week's awesome. show. So don't miss it. We will see you next week for another exciting episode. Thanks, of guys. Where's the band? Taxi TV Live. See you guys. Thanks for joining us. Remember the Will Ferrell, and I can't remember the other guy, the characters in uh, Saturday Night Live where they would go hang out at the oh, uh, yeah, yeah. bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not at the Roxy? Yeah. And the two of them, that <laughs> like, that's us. It's Steve Catan, I think, <laughs> yeah. and Will Ferrell. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was funny. They actually made a whole... The two of us were head about film wasn't as good, obviously, but yeah. they actually made a film. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it was good the first time you saw it in skit form on uh-huh. SNL, the film. Not yeah, so much. yeah. Just like the Coneheads. Oh, I have to click off. Oh, we're still